concrete anchor bolts are used in new construction to fasten steel columns to concrete piers or to anchor machinery to concrete pads. In this lecture, we are going to learn setting up of anchor bolts in concrete. Anchor bolts are members used to connect structural and non-structural elements to concrete. It consists of a threaded end, on which hexagonal nuts and washers are attached. Traditionally anchor bolts are located by string line and tape measures. Accuracy, efficiency, and consistency can be greatly improved with total station technology. Human error and cumulative errors are greatly reduced compared with tape measured layouts. Accuracy should be within 1 8 inch of the true point on most projects, but it can get closer tolerances. Templates are the members used for holding the bolts for positioning the assembly during concrete placement. Using a template will help keeping the bolts straight and in correct distance from each other. But ensure proper number of templates are fabricated, depending upon number and types of pedestals. Let's see the fixing procedure for anchor bolt. Step 1. Before starting the process, check size of bolts, diameter of bolt, threading length, material type of bolts, and levels of concrete pedestal casted. Select the number of templates required. Ensure bolts are checked under trained structural steel installer or PAB vendor to avoid chances of errors. Step 2 Always select diagonal positioned columns for casting to avoid misalignment of bolts. Step 3 Ensure that reinforcement steel is not fouling with anchor bolts. Anchor bolts have bends. For better anchorage with concrete and so, there are chances that the bent portion of the bolts might foul with the reinforcement rings of the pedestal. Fourth step is to fix the anchor bolts on template with nuts and washer, with one nut on top and one nut at bottom of template, as shown in the figure. The bottom nut is called the leveling nut. It helps to adjust level of the anchor bolt. Always keep the anchorage depth as specified in the design drawings. The fifth step is to check the top of the bolt level and the top of the concrete level from working drawings, making the level accordingly for the base plate to fix in the correct position. If there is imbalance, grouting is done to maintain level. Moving forward to sixth step. It is to check center to center distances and diagonal of column as per working drawing. This is also called bolt checking protocol. The distances should be within 3 mm, that is 1 eighth of an inch. Step 7. In some instances, anchor bolts needs to be welded to the reinforcement, so that it does not move while concreting. Step 8 is to ensure that the threaded surfaces are kept clean during concreting. After casting of concrete, recheck the position of bolts. Precautions after fixing anchor bolt are After concrete casting, extreme care must be taken for the protection of bolts. The threaded portion of bolts should be greased or oiled, and then covering with a protection bag to avoid damage due to corrosion till the structural steel is erected. Precaution must be taken to ensure nuts and washers are removed along with the templates and stored in safe location till erection of the building. After erection of structural steel, care must be taken of the concrete surface below the base plate. It should be cleaned before grouting is poured. Grout is thin that it flows readily into gaps, so the surface is made rough. Also it is very strong and can withstand static and dynamic loads. After casting of concrete, below are few points to be checked. 1. Ensure bolts are fixed within tolerances. 2. 
Ensure projection length is adequate to accommodate base plate, washers, nuts, and a minimum of 50 mm of grouting. Hence after understanding about anchor bolts we can conclude that they are vital link between structural steel equipment and foundations. While number and length of the bolts are decided by equipment vendors, their configuration are decided by the structural consultant.